guys! I'm currently in a hotel room in Pennsylvania on my annual trip to cat cafes. Last year I did all of Virginia and I think a little bit of Maryland. Um, I did as many as I could in one to two days, which is a lot and a lot of driving. So this year I gave myself a few more days and we're doing Pennsylvania and Ohio. So there's, I think, four or five in Ohio and there's a bunch in Pennsylvania. Obviously, I won't be able to get to every single one, but I'm going to as many as I can in the time that I have. <laughs> um, so I'm going to film like little snippets when I'm there and show you guys. And then hopefully if you are ever in any of these areas, you'll go and visit these cafes too and tell them that the Shabby Tabby sent you there. All right, so first up is Treetops Kitty Cafe in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. All right, let's go. All right, so we got a little bit of a late start leaving Long Island, um, but it took about three hours to get to here, which is Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. Um, this is the Treetops Kitty Cafe. So when you walk in, there's the whole merch area on one side, and then there's a little gate to get into the cat room to check in for your reservation. So obviously after three hours, the first stop is the bathroom. It's so funny seeing other cafes with signs like ours, like watch for cats, if you get scratched, here's some band-aids, you know, normal cat things. And then this is my little friend waiting for me um, to lure me into the cat room with all of his friends. And there's the little quarantine area where the little quiet cats are separated and taking naps. And then the big cat room. Um, there's my mom with her coffee. <laughs> so at this cafe, there's about 15 to 20 cats. Um, and it is $15 per person for the hour in the cat room. Look at those frickin' thumbs. I can't. And then there were cute little signs everywhere, kind of, with, like, etiquette and which cats to kind of let them breathe and have some space. If they're up top, obviously they're trying to take a little bit of a break from people. And this little stinker, Cheddar, trying to get into the treat machine, waiting so patiently and looking so friggin' handsome. And here's another view of the cat room from the other side. Really, like, cute jungle green vibes. Um, it was very laid back. Cheddar literally reaches his paw in and gets treats out. Um, so they were talking about how they have to give him a little treat ball so that he would take a little break from knocking the treats out, or he'll literally knock the whole machine over, which is typical cat. It's so funny. Your one hour reservation comes with a free beverage. So there's um, a Keurig machine that's self-serve. And then there's also some cold drinks that are available for purchase. And of course, a bucket of toys to play with the cats. Um, and I thought this little hideaway thing was really cool. They get their own space. Here's a little clearer video of the serve yourself complimentary hot beverages, um, sweetener, sirs, flavors, all that good stuff. And then a little tip jar. This wand was the absolute favorite. Um, all of the cats were running from every distance to try to get it. And again, those thumbs, come on. I mean, literally, thumbs are the best. Look at how cute he is. Then they have this really awesome Adoptables cat finder that has more information about each cat that's in the cafe, um, kind of what they like and what they don't like, as much as you possibly can know so far. So now for day two, stop two. And this is the Cat Finated Cat Cafe which is in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. So at the Cat Finated Cat Cafe, there are a few options for time. Um, there's 15 minutes for $3, 30 minutes for $5, or 45 minutes for $8, which is really nice to have a variety of options. You never know how long you could stay, or if you just need a quick fix, it's easy. 
so this was one of the few rooms in the cafe. Um, this was the kitten room. So there is a kitten room with about five to six cats. And then there's a bigger cat room with about 10 to 15 cats. Um, in this cafe, there is also an area for merch, a little lounge where you can sit and watch through the kitten room and the cat room while you drink your drinks. Um, there's also a thrift store, which is really cool. All of the uh, proceeds go to the rescue that they are partnered with. Along with the regular merch, um, there was also an area of crystals, which was really cool. You don't really get to see that much at any cat cafe. So I thought that was really awesome to see kind of like the spiritual area. And of course, the huge cafe. So at the cafe, there's like a little pastry case with brownies, um, loaf, and stuff like that. Um, and then the coffee slash drink bar has every single flavor you could possibly think of. It would be overwhelming if the people who worked there weren't so nice and had such great ideas on which flavor mixings to do. Here's the little crystal area, by the way all the little um, rocks and cat things and then the thrifty kitty catik that's the thrift shop that i was talking about um, a whole plethora of items to choose from one of the things i loved most about this cafe is that there's literally something for everyone and also the drink that i got was literally bomb i can't even tell you what was in it but it was amazing Honestly, though, if you're ever in the Greensburg, Pennsylvania area, you really, really need to make it a priority to get to this cafe. The owner was so nice. I talked to her pretty much the whole time I was there and then got to leave her alone and go around to the cafe and see all the cats and see all the different rooms. It was so nice. Everyone is so, so happy. If you do end up going, make sure that you tell Kate that Melanie says hi. Then there was a little bit of a tornado warning, but it's okay. Um, we made it to our second cafe of day two, third cafe of the whole trip. This is Kitty Brew Cafe in Mason, Ohio. So at Kitty Brew, um, it is $11 per person for the hour. Um, and there are about 20 to 22 cats in that count is also tiny kittens. Um, you'll see them running around in a little bit. Here's one of the little babies. Just checking things out, being cute and all, teeny tinies. So at Kitty Brew, they have one big building that's separated into two areas. So one side is the cafe area where there's merchandise and all of the drinks and some food, I believe. Um, and then the other side is the cat room. When you walk into the cat area, you check in for your reservation, sign the little waiver, um, and then they go over a few things with you, like the normal things, no running, no loud noises, all the type of rules that we have at our cafe, um, just that it's the cat's home and you're just a visitor in their space. There are so many cat trees and so many different areas to sit down and this cute little mural. Um, all the cats were super playful. This one loved this little rope toy. I was there for the last hour of the day before closing so that's probably why they're all awake and playful. Just like our cafe, they are more awake in the morning when we first open and at night after dinner. Um, they kind of have their nap time midday. But yeah, there was lots of cool murals. There are a few other people there, but um, the space was big enough that you didn't feel crowded. There was space to move and everyone had cats that they could hang out with. And of course, obviously, tons and tons of baths and bath time. And it's so funny watching little kittens play with other kittens, like trying to watch the world through their eyes is so funny. You just have to wait for the little pounce because it's hilarious. 
And then day two came to an end, which brings us to day three, cafe number four, which is Kitty Bubble Cafe and Bar in Columbus, Ohio. At Kitty Bubble, the cafe and bar is completely separate from the cat room. So you can go and just have the drinks um, and you can even sit at one of the bars and watch through the little bubbles to see the cats, which is really cute. Um, obviously reservations are definitely necessary um, or you're not gonna be able to get in. I almost didn't get in and that would have sucked. <laughs> Luckily, the day before, someone canceled, so I got that last time slot. Um, I got a boba tea, and I got to bring it into the cat room. They also have other options, like coffee and alcohol, so they had a few beers listed um, and wine, so that was really cool. You don't really get to do anything like that in New York. The whole cat room was light pink and light blue with some white accents. Um, it was really cool. The floor was pink and sparkly, so that was fun. These cats are so cute. There's the little lifeguard, so those are all the cats. There's currently about 20 there, I think. There was four lines of five. Um, and this little white cat, I wanted her. If I lived anywhere near this area, I probably would have adopted her and her brother. When I got home, I went on their social media and they actually got adopted, and I'm so excited for them. I think they were there for a little bit. And then obviously you have to have the chonky cats that love playing with the little toys. Um, there was buckets around of toys to play with the cats, little wand toys, stuff like that. These are the little bubble areas where if you were sitting in the cafe, you could look in on the cat room and watch the cats while you have your beverage. I thought this ice cream cone cat tree was really cute. Lots of cutesy little cat things like rainbow beds, clouds, um, little cactus, and stuff like that. And then after leaving Kitty Bubble, we made a pit stop at this waterfall that we saw along the way. We drove to Cleveland where there's the Affogato Cafe. Um, however, on Sunday they close at 2 p.m. So unfortunately, I didn't really get to experience the cats, but they were nice enough to let me walk around and see how it was in there. So it was really cool. Um, I got a coffee to go and got to see how they did things. All right, so day four is the Purista Cat Cafe in Erie, Pennsylvania. This is cat cafe number six on this trip. They have this really cool plant theme where everything is green and luscious. They have their merchandise area, and then they have their full cafe area, all the coffee you could possibly think of, and then these little seats that you could sit in, do some work or even just to hang out in before you can make your way into the cafe or after your cat time. They had these little cards of each adopted cat and where they are now, so I thought that was really cool. And when you go into the cat room, you take your shoes off in the little vestibule area before going into the cat room, um, just to make sure that no outside germs or anything bad gets into the cats and makes them sick. So I thought that was cool. Um, and then there's the lint rollers, obviously, the drink that I ordered. Um, the barista was the nicest person I've ever met in my entire life. Her name was Abigail, and I just asked her to make whatever she wanted to make. Um, and she said that there's a little special secret drink that they make sometimes, which is blueberry coffee and lavender cold foam. And if you knew me at all, you would know that blueberry is my literal favorite coffee flavor, so that was cool. At the Parista Cat Cafe, there are about 12 to 15 cats that are in the cat room available for adoption. Um, and then it is by the hour where it's $15 per person to be in the cat room. Inside the cat room, there was this little binder that has pictures of all the cats who were adopted, which I think is really cute. 
their little bios in there and which number adoption they are along with their picture. There was a lot of seating areas in this cafe, which I thought was really nice. Um, little nooks where you can have your distance from the other people who are there. And then there was enough space where you can hang out with cats and not feel like you are crowded. The whole nature theme is really, really nice. Everything is wood and like a deep green, cool murals. It was very, very comfortable. The cats at the cafe were very clearly loved and cared for, um, extremely comfortable in the home that this owner has created for the cafe. And then of course, the staple in every single cat cafe is the toys that you can use to play with the cats and get them stimulated. Um, this cat really liked this toy. It was really cute watching them watch the um, feather above its head. If there's one thing you need to see in this video, it's this amazing wig that this cat Adina has. Look at that perfect hairline. Seriously, look at those bangs and that cute little face. And then there's the big window on the wall that um, is the space between the cafe and the cat area where you can just sit at the bar and have your drink and look at the cats. And here's a little close up of the adoptable cats of this location and their little cards that says a little bit about them. Um, their names, their age, what they like. Another thing that I love doing at cafes is seeing the names that cats have, like Shenanigans and Hootenanny. That's amazing. Back into the vestibule to get my shoes back on so that I could show you this area of the cafe. There's this big gallery wall in the middle that has a table and a couch, kind of like the lounge in between the cafe part and the bathroom. And then after Paristo, we made our way to Brookville, Pennsylvania for the Calico Cafe. So at this cafe, you could do 30 minutes for $5 or an hour for $10. Um, there's a cafe area and then there's a little bit of merch um, and then you go into the cat room. This cafe had six cats, and then they had an area of games that you could play, and then, of course, the bucket of toys for the cats. It was a nice homely feel to hang out with the cats in their element. Um, I did not stay the full 30 minutes, though. And of course, it wouldn't be a cat cafe without a bunch of cat books. All of the cats really got along well and it was really cute to see them all playing with the same toy together. They definitely all loved getting attention. Cats are honestly the best. The sweet girl loved the rainbow wand toy, the little ribbons running down. She just loved to play. Everyone's definitely well cared for and loved, which is all you really need for a cat cafe. Thank you for following along on this cat cafe tour. Um, if you have any cat cafe suggestions for next year, please let me know. So that's seven cat cafes in four days. 
Catch you next time.